Welcome to Cooking with CPR for the Body. Today we're going to be making some quick, easy, tasty, eggless sugar cookies. I promise you, your family will enjoy these for the holidays. All of the ingredients will be in the description box, so let's begin. First, you want to start off by putting two cups of all-purpose flour into your bowl. Next step is to add one and a half cup of powdered sugar. So that's one and a half cup of confectioner or powdered sugar. Then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Next is going to be a half a teaspoon of salt. Now it is time for the butter baby, which is one and one third stick of butter. And I use salted butter. All right, now it's time to mix, mix, mix. Once you get this stuff incorporated very well, where it looks like a texture of sort of kind of like cornmeal kind of, it is time to now add your almond milk and your flavoring, which is your vanilla flavoring and your almond extract. And then continue mixing. All right, as you mix these ingredients, you will start to see your dough form. And then after you get that dough right where you need it, add a good consistency where everything is all mixed it is time to put this dough in the refrigerator i like to use parchment paper instead of plastic wrap it just works so much better for me and it doesn't get all sticky and all over the place all you want to do is scrape all your dough out and put it inside the parchment paper and take it to the refrigerator and put it in for 25 minutes i'm going to set a timer for 25 minutes now as i'm waiting for those cookies to chill i'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees all right the time has ended let's grab them out the refrigerator and get to making our cutout now here you're going to be laying some flour on the counter because that is the way that you make sure your cookies do not stick to the counter and you want to put flour on both sides of the dough which is what i'm doing here now if you want soft cookies you want to make a quarter of an inch thick and if you want crispier cookies you want them to be an eighth of an inch thick so i'm just rolling these out to my desired thickness and i also have my parchment paper lined on some of the cookie sheets if it's an older cookie sheet i recommend putting parchment so that way they do not stick and now it's time to make your cutout comment below what your favorite cutout is mine is the gingerbread man and the bell so i have several cookies made with this batch of dough and let's take these bad boys to the oven now your oven depends on how long you should put them in. I have a convection oven so it takes about 10 to 12 minutes tops to get my cookies right how I want them to be. Now off to the oven, the cookies go. All right, the timer has stopped and it's time to take these out of the oven. All right, so once you take them out of the oven, it is time to put them on a cooling rack. So that's what we're going to see me doing. And then I'm going to let these cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to head over to create our icing for these cookies, which is so simple and so easy. But make sure you let them cool before you start this icing. All you're going to need is some vanilla, some almond extract, some food coloring of your choice, some almond milk, and some powdered sugar. So for the icing, you're gonna need a cup and a half of powdered sugar, a tablespoon and a half of milk, half a teaspoon of almond extract, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you're going to use as much food coloring as you desire. I like mine very vibrant in color, so I use quite a bit of the food coloring to change the color of the icing. Now, if you desire more of a frosting consistency, you just will add more of the powdered sugar to make it thicker. I like more of a glaze, so I make mine a little bit thinner, but it's time to ice in the cookies. And I use something really small and I just kind of pour it in the center and then kind of let it just fall over the cookie on its own, just a natural way. Um, it's up to you, but it depends on how much icing you want on your cookies. All right, guys, so this is the part where you need to get all of the little ones and everyone else who loves to eat these cookies with you to come and decorate. Now, as you see, I have parchment paper underneath because that is going to allow the drips from the cookies to fall down onto the parchment paper and not make your counter all sticky. So in my family, I have a tradition where we do the cookie challenge, which means let's see who can make the most creative cookie design and we will let social media be the judge of who did the best now this year we're going to do a gingerbread 
design and we're going to let social media be the judge of that our other tradition is to go to the holiday festival and see the magic shows and just it's like a state fair in the winter time and you get all the great things from fried oreos to fried dough it has rides and all this great stuff so yeah that is our other tradition along with seafood we do seafood every year for the holidays which i feel is something easier we've been doing that for several years now and we do the opening of the stockings on the night before christmas so i hope you guys have a happy holidays leave your traditions below and i will talk to you guys later game